Hey guys, how is it going? In this video, I would like to go back to my 2020 and share with you my goals uh, for for this year. Uh, for those who don't know me, hi, my name is Eva and I'm a freelance product and interaction designer. And this site, uh, this YouTube channel is a side project of mine where I talk about design, technology and self-education. Um, this video is more personal and it's it's, it's meant to be for people who are following me for a while and know that I'm obsessed in, uh, in self-development. Also, it should serve uh, as like an accountability for myself so I know what I should be doing this year. And yeah, um, if you are interested in what I'm, uh, what I'm going to do uh, this year, uh, please continue watching. Let's jump into the video. When I look back on 2020, here is few things which I've accomplished or done. Um, I switched from digital agency to full-time freelancing. I started this YouTube channel. I worked on many side projects which were hell yeah interesting. I read a lot of books and I stayed home thanks to this mystical illness. And you know, we can't tell the name of the mystical illness. so. YouTube algorithm, you know, so the mystical illness it is and uh, Yeah, so that means that I was home most of the time and I think I was only at a one uh, one event this year, which is crazy, right? Um, so switching from from agency to freelance was kind of hard and um, like event Actually, I didn't want to stay freelance for the entire year, but you know, I went with the flow and I had more freelance opportunities than I had uh, in, in some companies. Um, also, the companies wasn't hiring uh, for, for a full-time position that much this year. So I feel like, you know, um, it had many reasons, but still startups were <laughs> where you know still people uh, people were starting startups so I had more freelance opportunities and I feel like one of the things which I want to work more uh, next year but I was also working on it this year was our soft skills sales skills presenting yourself and all of that stuff so I ordered a bunch of sales book from Amazon and I will you know work on it test it out probably I will share with you my tips and tricks once I learn it in like a half a year or we will see um, working directly with companies also gave me a better financial situation. So I was able to start to invest in real estate, uh, ETFs and stocks. I will probably film a video about it in the future, but um, it was a shock for me uh, going from, you know, your um, paycheck to paycheck. I wasn't living paycheck to paycheck, but basically from like a regular income to this one month and this the other month. Um, it's not that... The, it's it's not how how it is like uh, at the moment but I too I was fortunate enough to not work for like five weeks of from this year maybe six weeks from this year which is a lot like that's definitely more than your than your standard vocation so I had to kind of plan ahead mm. and Last but not least is my fitness journey. So thanks to a more flexible schedule and that uh, that finance situation, I was able to start to uh, go to gym two times or three times a week uh, with a personal trainer. And I'm working out uh, a style called calisthenics. So it's a body weight training. And wow, I, I wasn't that fit for a long time. Like you know, you can see my six pack and stuff like that. And it's awesome. I can almost uh, do a pull up and geez, I, w I, I wasn't fit uh, like, like like this for for my entire life, I guess. So I am very, very happy about it. And I want to try out different, different wor workout styles or something like that next year. So even my personal life is sort of better. So that's my 2020 in a nutshell. So my approach to goal is a little bit different um, than you may think. So 
there are things which I can affect and I can't. So for example, I can affect my actions and my intentions, but I don't can't affect which opportunities will be presented to me or stuff like that. This is quite a stoic approach to a life. And so I want to define what type of person I want to become and stuff like that um, you know the, the direction where I'm heading rather than uh, goals because I'm not sure if you know YouTube will uh, let's say uh, display my video to other people so I will reach a certain number of subscribers or whatever if you want to explore this topic further and you don't want to uh, read old uh, stoic books like uh, letters of Seneca or uh, you know meditations by Marcos Aurelius you can read a book called atomic habits I think or I I personally think that a lot of ideas are quite stoic in there and it's well written. I, uh, I made a video about this book on my channel so you can have a look on it. One thing which I want to achieve in my life is to help humanity in some sort and I don't know what it means uh, at the moment and also I know that this is, an, this is not a quest for this year. This is like a lifelong quest. So I want to head this direction. I want to, um, I want to take some actions which can kind of move me uh, towards this direction. But I don't know what the end goal is, if it makes sense. <laughs> In 2021, I will learn hard topics uh, as I did this year and I will try to connect the dots between different industries and overall progress and um, I think that I can achieve this either as a freelancer or a owner of some startup or employee it doesn't matter really uh, the important thing is the progress second uh, goal of mine is to work on my physical body and that means sleep exercise, health and nutrition. I've been doing it for five, a few years now and I want to continue in it. And I also want to work on my mind. Uh, so I want to, you know, read more philosophy and stuff like that to kind of define the, the values, <laughs> if it makes sense. Last but not least, I want to practice to be a nicer human. And here's a few notes I took from book um, Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. Um, so, um, never make a tyrant or slave to any man or yourself. Say no evil, do not evil and don't gossip. Uh, these are things which I think I've partially felt in 2020 and I want to improve it in 2021 because uh, yeah, as, as I'm getting older, I see this as like a super important thing, like more and more important thing. So I'm not saying that I will be, you know, uh, I will be uh, the person who can't stand for herself and be, you know, nice and do favorites everyone and that's, you know, stands up in that, in that, uh, in that first sentence which I mentioned. But I kind of want to be generally nicer but still stronger if it makes sense. It's kind of hard to define it in few sentences in, in, in one YouTube video. But uh, yeah, these are currently the ideas what I want to achieve this year. So yeah, guys, I hope this video gave you some ideas. Um, and if you don't understand all of the ideas, uh, it's not a problem at all. Uh, one of my friends, which I highly respect, told me similar ideas two years ago. And at the time I was on totally different place. I was working in a digital agency. I was very glad that I was fortunate enough to, to get there because I was fresh out of high school and stuff like that. And maybe it was one year ago. I'm not sure at the moment, but still a long time uh, has passed and I read quite a lot of different philosophical books and stuff like that. And I sort of figured out these ideas by myself. They are not matching the ideas I was presented two years ago, but uh, they are on the same, let, let's say on the same sort of side of things. And I feel like this, these ideas will change for me, definitely. Uh, as I will learn more about about different philosophers, as I will learn more about um, you know world world, as I will age and 
become more wise or whatever. So yeah, I think that the only takeaway from this video is that you should kind of, um, you should kind of like develop, uh, develop in these areas of life because they are also important. Um, and the mental state, how strong you are mental and stuff like that affects basically everything. So yeah, that's the only takeaway which you should take from this video really. And also, as I said at the beginning, it's an accountability video for myself. So I don't, don't slip from my journey and uh, you know, and I progress. So you can tell me uh, in my future videos because I plan to work more on YouTube. I really enjoy uh, doing these videos for you. And also looking at them back because I feel like we are making better and better videos. Really, that's, that's no doubt. Uh, so if you like this video, please uh, like it, subscribe, share, whatever. We are playing YouTube game and the YouTube algorithm loves this stuff. Um, and have a happy new year, guys. Uh, see you in my next video. Cheers. Mm -hmm.